Welcome, I'm GTGD and this is going to be a new tutorial series for Unity 2D showing how to use the Unity 2D tile map and a whole bunch of other Unity features. So if I just run the project here, uh, it's a simple 2D game where you can place the tiles, change the tiles, that sort of thing. So that's what I'll be showing in this series, you know, basic scene management, saving and loading data to file, uh, that sort of thing, and then restoring the world based on that. Uh, so here we go, we've got some uh, basic 2D world with very basic graphics. I'll show how I make every single sprite, so I'll draw all of the sprites uh, so that you can follow along. I'm no artist, but at least you get to see the process and also just make some super basic AI that travel around in the world and how to update the nav mesh. So for example, here I've got a building. I can speed up time as well, so you can see that the, the light color of the world will change with time uh, as well. It'll eventually become daytime and our spotlight will disappear. So why don't I start building something, build an extension to this uh, house here and just go ahead and you know what, better remove that window and put in a door here, uh, put in some flooring as well. And let's put some windows. Okay, and you know what, why don't I just make a door here as well and I can put in a put in a bed over there as well put in a table over here as well and you know what I'll save the game now so that way you can see uh, that the progress got saved if I jump out so just exit load game go back to GTGD there we go that's our new extension made there and this is the what I'll cover in the tutorial series so I'll explain all of this stuff some also side things I'll explain as well, like, you know, how to use post-processing uh, with the universal render pipeline. So I'm using universal render pipeline for this. It's a lot more efficient than the uh, built-in Unity pipeline. Now let me speed up time so you can actually see it become daytime. So you can see how I'm using a gradient. I, there you go to change the color uh, of the light in the world. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll also show a little bit about, you know, making animated sprites. Uh, and yeah, I think that we'll cover this. Actually, it's quite a lot of content, but it's not too much code. Uh, it's not too uh, too difficult or anything. There's not actually. There's absolutely nothing difficult uh, with this. Uh, what you see here, uh, in fact, Unity is really really powerful. The tools for 2D uh, game development. It's really quite impressive what you can do. Uh, anyway, so this is going to be the content for the new uh, tutorial series that I'll be uh, developing. Um, so I guess uh, it'll take me a little while as I prepare the content, you know, map it out, but I hope it won't be too long now, uh, maybe a month or two at most, I would say, uh, to get the content mapped out and then start, you know, recording videos for each topic. And uh, I think it'll be a very interesting tutorial series. I already found it super interesting to actually develop this project. And uh, of course, I'm not done yet, so I definitely want to take it further. I hope to make a like a game from it as well, uh, and you know, make make it something even more interesting and more uh, fun to play. Okay, so I guess that's uh, pretty much it. So if I just jump out. Um, you know, I should just show you as well, for example, another load file. This was another load file just to show you that uh, there is actually, you know, it works nicely there. Then I can just save that world as well. Jump out. If I jump in back here, you'll see that, yep, everything got restored back to where it was. Uh, okay, so that is pretty much it. That's going to be our new tutorial series. That's the new one that I'll be coming out with. It'll be called GTGDS2. And with the title, like, Learn Unity 2D, something along those lines. And it'll replace my old GTGD S2 series as well. Anyway, thank you very much for your time. Thank you for dropping by. And I hope to see you again soon in the future.